feeling yourself? <laughs> okay? Have you feeling yourself? Hey everybody, it's your girl Matt Givens back with another video. So today we will be discussing 10 different ways to get over our ex so that we can just get back popping, you know, and get back to loving ourselves 100% and stop thinking and worrying about them because you know they're in the past, so we just need to leave the past in the past, okay? Now, depending on the situation that you are in, these 10 different things might work quicker or it might take a little bit longer depending on like how much in love you were and stuff like that and how long you were with the person. But overall, over time, they will definitely help you get over that person. So, I already know y'all trying to get over y'all ex like right now, so I'm just gonna stop rambling and get started. <laughs> so tip number one to get over your ex is to block them. Block them. Block them, block them, block their ass on everything, okay? They do not need to see you, you do not need to see them, period. If that is your ex, like, y'all don't need to be seeing each other unless you're hanging out with them, okay? And if they need to be in contact with you, they can text you. It's not necessary for you to see their face and be updated on their life every 20 minutes. It's just not necessary. Social media makes that shit really hard, so block them. Block them on Instagram. I mean, depending on if you use Facebook, people don't really use Facebook for real, so you might have to block them on Facebook. But I feel like Instagram is the main one for me personally, It's just blocking them on Instagram so you don't have to see, you know, their face or what they're doing because Instagram make it real hard to get over somebody when you're looking at their ass all day. So yeah, just block them. Block them on everything. Block them. Really depending on the situation, you might just wanna block them and total like in general just completely block them out of your life if there was like a negative situation you just really need to get over them but sometimes if it was like you guys kind of just grew apart and you're still friends it's okay to block them on social media and still have them you know relevant in your day-to-day -day life so you know they can still be there if you, you know need be you can text call whatever but you don't need to see them all day it's just not healthy it's not necessary don't do it to yourself I have had exes hit me up from multiple damn Instagram accounts like no like obviously you don't get the fucking message like I don't want to talk to you <laughs> they like and let me tell y'all something in relationships ex is really not gonna want to let go of you depending on the situation they're gonna try to keep you around just so you could like be around kind of like a just in case but let me tell you we ain't no just in case shit okay just in case you realize who I am, I'm gonna be gone, okay? So, yeah, we ain't just in case of nobody, just none of that. But yeah, so that's just tip one, block them. <laughs> Overall, just block them. <laughs> so tip number two to get over your ex, which kinda goes with the first one, is to block their friends. Yes, you're gonna have to block their friends too, just because, again, depending on the situation. It all depends on the situation. If your friends with your ex's friend on social media and stuff like that and all they do is post about your ex or all they do is post about your ex's new life so maybe like you see on social media like your ex friend posts him or something or her and they new girl or their new dude or whatever or their significant other and then you just get back into a downward spiral so let me just tell you like block the friend too block the friend Block the friend. If you're not friends with the ex, you don't need to be friends with the friend. No way. Like, it don't matter. Block the friend. Block the friend. Block them. Just hit that block button. Block that ass. Block that ass. You do not need to see their friends either. Like, it's not helping you. They not helping you. They are not helping you. Okay? They are not paying your bills. And if they are paying your bills, you can still block them on social media. You just don't block them in real life. Okay? But if they not, block their ass because they ain't helping you. They ain't helping you. And the friends ain't helping too because the friends knew what was going on. Depending on the situation, again, depending on the situation, the friends always know what's going on. Period, point blank. Period, point blank. The friends always know what's going on and they lying to your ass too. That's not your friend. That's your significant other, whatever, ex-friend. So that is not your friend. Do not consider them your friend. Again, depends on the situation. If you grew up together and y'all grew up and y'all all friends, okay, whatever. But still, just think twice, okay? Think twice. So tip number three to get over your ex is to change their name in your phone and change their contact information. If you have your ex still in your phone as baby, 
my world, my life, the air I breathe. No, we done with that. We done with that, cause I ain't, I don't even want your oxygen no more. Like you feel me? I found my own, so you, you ain't even my baby no more, and this shit ain't even on lock no more. So you know what? Delete all of that. Delete all of that. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. All of my exes. I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes, depending on a person, just to help me get over them, like I'll change their name to something like. Okay, well, this is just an example, but my ex's name was B-A-M-F in my phone, which, of course, stands for Big Shaz Motherfucker, if you did not know, you know. But it just helped me, so then when I got a text or something, I'll be like, oh. Okay. And then I had another ex, and their name in my phone is Liar, so that when they text me, I'm like, oh, wait, that's they lying ass. Do not get caught up, Maddie. Do not get caught up. That's that lying ass. Okay, caught up. So then it's like, okay, now I remember. You're a liar. You're not my baby. You a liar. So then it just helped me in the long run, okay? So yeah, I would definitely suggest that you all do that. It definitely helps. Tip number four to get over your ex, and probably this is the biggest tip of all, honestly, but I know this might be a little bit hard for some of you guys, but you're going to have to forgive them. Now, depending on what the situation was, regardless, honestly, you're just gonna have to forgive them. And it's not even for them, it's for yourself because it'll help you really move past because we can't always get closure. You know, sometimes we're in situations where you was just dealing with somebody that, hey, it's not even worth me seeing you again face to face, you know? So sometimes we don't always get the closure we need, which is why it's very, very important to just forgive them and let it go so that it's not worried. You know what I'm saying? It's not on your mind. You're not worried about it. You don't want to get revenge. You're not spiteful. You're not trying to be out here trying to scheme and do plan all type of stuff, trying to plot and do all. No, just just leave their ass. Just forget them and let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Because let me tell you, all that negative energy you blocking, trying to plot on your ex, you blocking your blessings. Okay, you blocking the, the person that's supposed to be in your life. Because then the person that's really supposed to be in your life is this good person. And why the hell they want to be with your lying, scheming ass? Like, no, 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 no. We're not doing none of that. We forget, we forgive, and we let go. Yeah, we just let go. Okay? So tip number five to get over your ex, which kind of goes along with the last one, is just to get closure for yourself. So even if you aren't able to get closure with them in person, what you can do is write a letter to them of everything that you've wanted to say or how you honestly do feel about them or the situation, and then you can just burn the letter. <laughs> you can write it to them, you can give it to them, or you can burn it and just act like it never happened. It just depends, or you can get rid of it, you can rip it up, you can throw it away. But honestly, it does help getting whatever you're feeling off your chest, because sometimes we're not able to talk to the person in person, or sometimes, you know, we get a little nervous or whatever, so it's just nice to write a letter and give that to them. Because I know sometimes, like, when you're in situations where you're really hurt, you know, it takes a while for you to even be able to, like, say what's really on your mind, you know what I'm saying? Because you just don't want people to look at you a certain way. You don't want people to be like, oh, emotional ass, like, da 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 like, whatever the situation may be. So it's nice to sometimes just write a letter, send it off, don't send it off. Do whatever makes you feel good, you know, honestly. So, I don't know. And honestly, depending, if you write a letter and you give it to them, depending on the situation, like, that could fix the relationship. Because I know a lot and a lot and a lot of relationships lack good communication like that is the the key to everything is communication and a lot of relationships do not have good communication so tip number six to get over your ex is just to do you boo and get brand new so sometimes what i like to do is sell some old clothes get rid of some old clothes just get a new wardrobe fresh to start you know you sometimes you want to take some pictures and some new clothes you know get yourself feeling good feeling fresh because when you look good you feel good and when you feel good you look good so you know so you want to make yourself look good make yourself feel good don't be down on yourself don't be you know sometimes you want to leave everything in the past shit i'll leave my clothes in the past you know what i'm saying i'll leave it all in the past it could have been yesterday i could have bought a new shirt yesterday but i wore that shirt to go see my ex and that ain't my ex no more, so you know what? I don't want that shirt no more, so I just leave it all in the past. 
get rid of all of it. You know what I'm saying? Go buy me something new. Get you something new. You might want to change your style. Dye your hair. Do something. I typically dye my hair. I dye my hair a lot when I'm like wanting to change. So, yeah. So, do something for yourself. Change it up a little bit. So, tip number seven to get over your ex is to play single people music. Do not be out here playing those sad ass songs. Like, I don't know, y'all just like to have yourself in y'all feelings. Like, no, mm -mm. no, 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 no. It's okay, depending on the situation, when you like break up with somebody, that first day, you can be emotional. Maybe like the first, I'll give you like the first week. Okay, really that's that's a lot of time, but I give you the first week. It's where you can really be emotional, let it all out the first day, you know, you crying and shit. But that sad music is gonna have to go. Okay, it's gonna have to go because it's not helping. We're not helping. This is for help. All we're trying to do is help ourselves, better ourselves. So if it's not helping, it gotta go. Okay, it gotta go. That sad music gotta go. We're gonna play lit shit only. Okay, that's gonna get us hype. Okay, and remember who we are. Personally, I like to listen to Young Dolph because he helped me remember who I am. So just to give you guys an example, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play just a couple single people music that I have you hype. You feel me? Have you feeling yourself? <laughs> okay. Have you feeling yourself? Hey, 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 mood 2019. Hey. whole time in and out cause they ass getting banged. Expose these fuck niggas. Expose these fuck niggas. Expose these hate these hoes but I love my bros dick in the butt niggas. I personally like rap music. I just feel like rap music just keeps me out my feelings. Like I don't know so I just like to listen to it. So yeah I personally those are the songs I like to listen to. <laughs> so tip number eight to get over your ex is to write a new life plan I know sometimes that we get into relationships we kind of plan our life based around that person and like what you guys are doing together and then like a year we're gonna move here and then we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this but it's not no we no more okay it's just I it's just I it's just me oh so yeah just rewrite a plan for yourself and remind yourself who you are and who you were before you met them so just like if you guys have been together for a very long time sometimes it's easy to forget who you were what do you like to do instead of what do we like to do so just really sit back think about what do you like to do what do you enjoy doing you know what I'm saying what are your life goals what are you gonna do for yourself this time next year like just refigure yourself out replan yourself get back into being all about you that's it okay focus on yourself it's okay to take some time to be selfish a little bit it's okay i'm giving you permission to be selfish i don't care if nobody else is giving you permission i'm giving you permission to be selfish take some time for yourself figure you out it's good it's healthy for you figure you out so tip number nine to get over your ex is to treat yourself you deserve the world and if ain't nobody else gonna give you the world then you give it to yourself then what yeah everybody else okay because we giving the world to ourselves period okay that's all i know so take yourself out get a nice massage this goes for guys and girls get a nice massage relax take yourself out to a movie take yourself out to dinner maybe go get you a nice new outfit you know what i'm saying just treat yourself go on a trip go on a vacation maybe ask a couple of your friends like hey like you guys trying to go on a weekend trip like let's go somewhere like i'm ready to do something new try something new experience something new you know just do something for you like make yourself happy but yeah definitely do what makes you happy because like i was saying before when you're in a relationship it's so easy to get caught up in what we like to do what makes us happy what we are doing together and you forget what you like personally as yourself so definitely figure yourself back out and you know what you like to do so the tip number 10 to get over your ex is to know your self worth 
that is the biggest tip of all but it's honestly the most important because if you do not remember who you are and if you do not value yourself then none of the other tips will be able to work because you won't implement them honestly or you just won't feel as though you're deserving of all the stuff that I was saying so it's very important that you love yourself because you really have to know what you do and do not deserve like if somebody was not treating you good do not be sad that they left your life be happy like that's a blessing like damn i'm glad they didn't even know who i was why am i so upset that they left like they didn't know me why are you upset you're gonna have somebody that appreciates you and loves you and cares about you period and that's the thing like once you know yourself you will find that person that makes you forget what it's like to be hurt. And when you feel that type of love, then everything in the world will just feel great. And it'll feel amazing. So it is definitely possible to feel that type of love, but you have to love yourself enough first to be able to feel that unconditional love. People aren't going to change. I'm sorry to tell you, like if you're dealing with somebody when you're like the age of like 20 to like 25 and stuff like that, they're still transitioning 25 to 30 and they're kind of getting more stuck in their ways. Once you get like 30, they're pretty much how they're going to be. And unless you are willing to deal with how they are, do not try to change people. It's okay if you don't work with somebody else. That's okay if you don't work together. It's always somebody else. Like always. It's 7 billion people in this world, y'all really and trust me like i'm saying all of this from personal experiences trust me i've been super crazy in love with my ex who did not treat me well because i just thought that they were amazing and that they're gonna change but in the future they're gonna be so great and i just know that they got so much potential like fuck potential we ain't, we ain't doing no potential no more let me tell y'all i ain't doing nothing with no potential you ain't showing me now uh-uh, you gonna have to show me later then because I ain't got time for it. So yeah, just know. You know your worth. Know how you deserve to be treated. You deserve everything. You deserve the best, period. Like, period. If nobody else is going to tell you, let me tell you that you deserve the best, period. You deserve to be treated well. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to be happy. You do. You honestly do deserve to be happy. And I genuinely want you to be happy. So if you could please just love yourself. So yeah, it's just important to find loving yourselves instead of other people because other people will not always be there. And you just can't rely on people. You can only rely on yourself. Because if they're not there, then, you know, what does that mean? Like, I'm not happy today because they're not here? Like, no. You really have to take care of yourself. It's very important to take care of yourself and learn about yourself so that you're able to do that. So yeah, so this video was actually requested and I'll be doing another video if not tomorrow then sometime later on this week going in depth about how to be okay with seeing your ex with somebody else because I know somebody had asked me about that so I will be doing a video on that. Do not worry, I got you. Your questions will be answered and I hope that they will help. But if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you guys know when my next video was up. I hope this video was able to be helpful for you guys. I love you guys so, so much and I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Bye guys.